Your family's good was popping. I am Khalid Omari. And yeah, like, I know the last video I was like, I ain't buying no gear again, bruh. But ultimately, nah. so this happened. So yeah, I pretty much copped a machine plus because if anything, what the gear buying spree and unboxings and this, that and a third taught me over the past however long is how much I value the machine way of, of making beats. Like I value that. Even though I backed Ableton and whatnot, I'm gonna see like how different the integration is when it comes to Ableton Live against integrating it into Logic, if I can like bounce the individual stems and put that in the grid and then trigger them off with my um with this right here, which is the launchpad mini. Um also I got rid of the what is it the APC Mark II, the Akai APC Mark II, bruv. There's there's not a button on there that you can select and it and it records. So I'm having to tap on the desk like, da -da -da, and then also click on the record on screen. And sometimes you just want to immerse yourself inside the tool you're using. So yeah, man, it 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 kind of had to go. It lasted maybe about a week or so. I done it, that was the last successful stream with sound I done. I know sometimes you'll get a notification like, ah, oh, Khalid's live, Khalid's live. And then you click on there and some madness has happened. Like there isn't no sand or something's happened. And I think when I am streaming, it is far more, I feel like it's far more stressful than just doing little pre-record making of a rhythm and whoop, whoop, whoop. Because that way I can have a very long beat making session and pretty much just dice up the different segments where I've made um, the loops and and whatever have you. You get me? And for those wondering, yes, I'm a life, I'm a lifelong Green Bay Packers fan. Always been a Green Bay Packers fan. Um, I don't know why actually. I think I've always just liked. I don't know. I've also always liked them as a team. And this stems back from the early 90s, and I don't know why. Because I don't think they were winners at that time, or anything. You know what I'm saying? It's just I always used to pick them in games because I like their name. Um, and they just seem to have, like, a history. I don't know. It was a history. Even though I wasn't clued up on, like, NFL and American football. Hold on. Hello? Yeah, what's up? You alright? Uh, it's up to you. What do you feel like getting? Hmm. I don't know, man. I really don't. I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know, babe. I can have a soup at home, or I don't even know. Yeah, little little cup of soup. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Just have a have a cup of soup, mate. Push it about, mate. Cup of soup. All right. Love you too. Bye. That's all right. Bye. Yeah, as I was saying, so the Packers now, yeah, banging. I don't know. Yeah, anyway, been a lifelong fan, and I don't know. They just struck me as a team that just have history, and I bought into that history, and also finding out that they are like a fan owned team. Like, so they're owned by their community, they're owned by their fans. And that struck a chord with me. I was like, you know what? It's good, man. It's really good. But anyway, yeah. This gear thing, I'm not overly bang on backing it. Like, this Machine Plus is probably the last thing I'm going to buy. It's going to be the last thing. And I'm not doing no unboxing video and whoop, 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 because I, cause it's, I am not here for that, to be honest. Sorry. I'm not here for that. I'm just here to make rhythms and share a little journey. And I realised that even over the past year and a half and whatnot, I've done unboxing videos for the SP404, for the Akai MPC Live. And it's like the unsung hero within all of that process that never got that kind of, that kind of love, yeah, was the... 
was the machine Mark III. Like, let's be honest, like, that, for me, has been the bedrock. Like, when you're watching the streams where a man is making rhythms and whatnot, or times where I come home from work and I'm like, let me sit down in front of whoop, whoop, whoop. Like, uh, the machine is me. And I'm going into my, I'm in my 13th year as a machine user. And I've never, I feel like, even though I know how to use it, I've never quite cracked the code on, like, finishing a track from start to end but I find that these days when I'm making like machine beats and stuff I find that it's alien for me to go into logic it's alien for me to maybe go into Ableton even Ableton's like a newer kind of thing but it's alien for me to go into logic with the with anything machine based now like I'm pretty much arranging the machine tracks in the machine software you know what I'm saying so, it's like, as I just focus my energy, all my energy on machine, I'm even recording vocal snippets and bits and pieces in the machine as well. So, my whole outlook on it has changed. Um, but in terms of the memory card that comes with the... Um, that comes with the machine plus, I think it's something like a 32 gigabyte internal memory card. But with my expansions downloading, I've probably got like maybe 10 or 12 of that left or maybe 8 left. And I can't survive on 8 gigabytes. So I'm going to probably have to, I'm going to, I'm not even probably, but I'm going to invest in a much bigger one. So I can slap it in and not have to worry about whether I'm running out of storage space or not. Um, also got to get an external hard drive because I've got some footage that I edited or recorded on a GoPro. It's like a little story of me making a cup of tea um, on my last day off that I want to pattern up and get out there. But um, yeah, man, I'm trying to keep expenditure to a minimum because 2023, the way out of the UK is going, uh, rising energy costs, all of that stuff. Um, it's just... You need, to, I need, I just need to be a bit smarter and, um, and focused with my, with my money, my time, my energy and stuff like that. So that's probably the reason why I purchased the Machine Plus. Like I sold the Akai MPC Live 2, retained the funds, got the Machine Plus on something like, um, just because I didn't want to pay I fact, I didn't want to pay the full cost, like, up front. So I was really, like, racking my brain and searching around for 0% um, finance over, say, 24 months, right? Um, I paid a 10% deposit up front. I got it for, like, a £1,000, so it's, like, £69 less than on the native instrument site. I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to pay that up front because at the moment, in the UK, global economy, whatever, like... I don't want to pay that sort of money and be without it if I can do 0%, finance 90% of it after paying a 10% deposit and spread it out over 24 months. So that way I can retain somewhat of an emergency fund or, or just not break into funds that are to be used in case of emergencies or anything like that. Because like I said, like the global climate for the economies and stuff like that is mad with a rising cost of, of food, energy, all of that stuff. The stakes are higher, man. So I guess this was my last expenditure. I'm definitely going to look to invest in an external hard drive at some point over the past, the next few months as the hard drive that I use for video editing and stuff is like full. And I'm also going to have to maybe invest in a few little accessories here and there. Um, but for me, this machine is just going to be hibernation. All of the purchases that were made in the run up to this year, like that I got on bargains and whatnot over Black Friday, over Christmas, they're going to be the last things. Like for me, my, my wallet is is on like shutdown mode um in terms of traveling like me and my partner plan to travel to a few places this year but even then i've got a companion voucher 
um, that I earned in last year's um, like expenditure with my Amex and whatnot. And that's what I'm going to do, like, just, it's a budgeting. It's no luxury or nothing. It's a budgeting thing. You get me? Like, I'm making sandwiches and bringing them to work. Man's got cup of soups that I bring into work on lunch and stuff like that. Like, because everything adds up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, that's my, that's my outlook. 2023. That's what we're rolling with. It's all about saving P. Um, yeah, saving P and being smarter. And yeah, that's how we're going to go through things in this year. And just being consistent as well. You get me? So yeah, I, I don't know that this video has taken a twist. But the game is the game. That's how we do. But anyway, yo fam, what's good was popping. I'm Kali Lamari. And I hope that this video came out well. And shouts to Sky Money because I've put your um, settings that you suggested into the camera. Um, and yeah, I just I hope it's come out good. I'm filming this on my GoPro Hero 11 with the with the mod with the media mod built in. Um, yeah, man. Yo, fam, what's good? What's popping? I'm Khalid Omari. Thank you for being here. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Are you battening down the hatches to see yourself through these these hard times for the economy, for the global economy? Or are you just continuing to back up the place? Um, what tools of the trade are you using? Are you a Machine Plus user? Are you deciding which one to go for? Are you still riding out with an SP404 and a, a Kai MPC Live 2? Or are you pretty much set on doing stuff in your computer? Let me know what you're doing. Let me know how you're feeling, innit? That's how we're rolling. But anyway. God bless. Peace. Until next time.